Good morning, guys. How you doing today? It's your girl, Miss Debs. I'm coming to you from here in my kitchen today. Um, I had put up a video. First of all, welcome to my kitchen, giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because you know he's worthy to be acknowledged and praised on this day and any other day. Now, wouldn't you agree? Because without God, there could be no me, no you, no us, none of this. Um, happy Memorial Day to everyone. Today, I'm dedicating this video to a young YouTuber. Her name is Casey. And the name of her channel is Season with Love. Um, you know, we as people, I know me, I can't speak for everybody else, but we tend to take life for granted. And um, no day is promised. And I'm not coming up here being, you know, sad and down or anything like that. But I just want to tell you people, it's time to get right with God. Um, I'm not trying to throw it down anybody's store, but I'm just letting you know time is of the essence. And it brings me to mind to this young lady that I was just talking about. Her name is Casey. Casey has an illness and um, she's practically been given, you know, an extension of her life, like to say, okay, you don't have much time. So, you know what? We all can leave here before Casey. You know, whatever God plan is and whatever his will is um, determines that. But I just, she makes me aware of life. She really does. Um, because sometimes we take things for granted, whether it's ourself or our loved ones or a family member or a friend, or we just take life for granted. And it's not always, we're not going to always have that option to say we're, we're, when we're going to do this, when we're going to do that, what we're going to eat, what we're going to wear. So I'm just letting you know that um, this right here touched my heart. Um, she had left me a message this morning and I'll I always think about her when I don't see her put up a video. Or I'll go and check up on to do a wellness check. And I do that sometime for um, my subscribers that I hadn't seen in a while. I haven't seen them put up a video. But this right here, I hope it touches home because time is of the essence. And I don't want to play around anymore. I want to get myself right with God. I wasn't perfect. I will never be perfect as long as I'm here. Because we are human and the flesh plays a big part in how we interact with things in our life. So to you, Casey, you are a strong woman. Um, I do believe God put you here for a reason. I see your love and your passion for cooking. And you can cook, my sister. She told me today I can cook. No, you can cook as well. Um, but um, she just takes life by the horns and she does what she has to do. Sometimes she come up on a channel. And the name of her channel, again, is Seasoned with Love. I will put up the link. She comes up and she's so sick and weak, but she does what she has to do. Because you can tell she have a passion for cooking and what she does. And as long as you have a passion, whether it's um, work or a job or, you know, just a um, a thing that you love to do, you can see it in the way people interact with what they're doing. So let's get this session started. I don't normally put up videos on Sundays, but this is Memorial Day. And I did want to put this up because some people need to hear it. In order to grow with the Lord, you need discipline. As new believers and followers of God, we need to daily take of the milk of God so that we may grow. So many Christians are going around the same old circle of sin. I was one of them and I still am one of them because I'm learning. Because we are not feeding on the Lord's word. Often, I often say put on the armor of God, which is the helmet of salvation, the shield of righteousness. No, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shoes of readiness and goodness, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Spiritual warfare. The word of God would not mention spiritual warfare if it wasn't a reality. But instead of concentrating on the enemy, concentrate on the weapons given. Ephesians 6, 10, 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities and the cosmos and powers over this present darkness. In making, I'm making it a point to take everything to the foot of the cross. I can go to unload my burdens, my uncertainties. I can be sure in my certainties. I can be sure of God's certainty. Ask the Lord for his help. Tell him I can't do it on my own. Stop trying to be your own salvation and ask God for his help and guidance. Have the faith in the stormy seasons. 
Exodus 14, 14, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Meditate and hear it dearly. Build your faith to move mountains. Make a decision to grow your faith. Meditate and hear it dearly. As a child of God, you have the word of God available to you. For today, make a decision to grow your faith. Have faith that Jesus Christ delivers and God will provide. Faith is vital for the believer. On Christ's solid rock I stand, everything else is sinking sin. Proverbs chapter 15. We will be tempted. We need to be diligent of that temptation. It will happen when we are in a good place. Because when we are in a good place, we have our guard down. We get complacent. We need to have the mindset to fight temptation. Turn to the Lord as he delivers you from temptation. God will see you through. You have to believe it. And I had put up something um, last week and I was saying that I was wondering, am I not doing enough? Is this something that I'm doing wrong while I, while I keep getting tempted by the enemy? But you know what? I realize it now. If you're just being yourself and you of the world and the things of the world and you're not praising God and you're not getting to know the word, then the devil won't bother you because he have no threat there. But when he see you're fighting and you're getting up and you're putting down that phone and the internet and the things that you normally do when you get up in the morning instead of praising God and spending that one-on-one -on -one time with him and the Lord, it's like, that's when you get tempted. It be, when you're not when you're not doing them things, it's okay for the devil because he know he has you. I don't have to worry about that one. But when you get up and you do that perseverance and you show God and and the Lord that I'm going to fight for you, I'm going to spend this one on one time for you. I'm going to sup with you. I'm going to hear your word. I'm going to meditate on your word. When you do that, you put a threat to the devil, and that's when all the the dark forces come and all that. But stand on your word, be firm, meditate on God's word and what he can do for you and yours and pray for your family. I pray for my family and friends every day, every night, because in this world we live in in a day, how can you make it without them? Guys, be encouraged, be blessed. And if you want to get into the word, pick up a Bible or any uh, scriptures, start meditating on them to learn them. So when the devil comes firing his darts at you, you can hit him with the word of God. Thank you so much. God bless you. May heaven smile about up, upon you. Check out my girl season with season with love channel. I'm going to put her link in my description. God bless you. Have a great Memorial Day. And to the ones that fought for us, God bless you.